What's up everybody, it's Homebrew Help with you today. And another new Super Mario Bros. Wii tutorial with you. How to put in custom textures, namely the Brawl Mario and Luigi textures that were released on NintendoBros.com today. So, let's just jump right into it. First, we're going to need some stuff that you're going to need to know about. We're going to need Wii Scrubber. We're going to need... ZSZ modifier, or SZS, my mistake, SZS modifier. You're going to need WBFS manager, and we're also going to need a file to download that can be found on the Nintendo Bros website, which is namely the Brawl Mario and Luigi uh, texture hacks. So let's go to the post, which I will have a comment for, which I will have a link for in the description. It'll be right here, download Brawl Mario and Luigi patch here. Now, unfortunately, due to legal reasons, the ARC files will not be released. Instead, you can download, basically, it's SZS files. And you can, by using SES, you can just replace the files and then reinsert them with uh, Wii ISO. But I'll show you guys how to do that. So we'll save it. We'll save it to our desktop. Yes, I'm going to replace it since I already have it. Go to our desktop, and then we're going to right-click it, and then we're going to ex click Extract, Yes to All, and open up Wii Scrubber, first one up. Load an ISO, and make sure it's the copied new Super Mario Bros. Wii ISO that you guys should have. I'm just going to be using the same ISO that I used in the last tutorial with Edit, so don't be surprised if you hear that. Search for OB for object, and let's start off with Mario, so Mario.arc. Alright, right click it and click extract, and we're going to extract it to our desktop. And we're also going to search for Luigi, Luigi.arc, and we're going to extract that as well and extract it to our desktop. And open up SZS modifier, file, open. Go to our desktop and all files, and then search Mario.arc, and it'll open it up. And it'll, if you want to search through your textures to make sure that's what it looks like, go ahead. Go to patches and import NetSafe patch, and we're going to go to Mario. Oh no, Brawl. Oh, sorry. Brawl Mario and Luigi patch. Brawl Mario and Luigi patch, and since we're doing Mario, we're going to choose Brawl Mario patch. And this should show up, and then just click OK, and you can go through it. And there you go. All the patches, that's what everything looks like. <clears throat> and now we'll do the same with Luigi. Open desktop, Luigi.arc, all files. Oh, yes. I guess I didn't save it. My mistake. Oh, no. I um, guess not. Patches, import net safe patch, brawl Mario and Luigi patch, brawl Luigi patch, and then OK. And open it up, textures, and there you can see his patch is pretty much the same as Mario's file. Save. And that's all we're going to need with SCS modifier. And now that we're back here in Wii Scrubber, right-click Luigi.arc and replace. And replace, just leave it like this, Luigi.arc, and then open. And we're going to go back, partition 1, object, and then Mario, oops, Mario, Mario.arc, replace, and open. Since we saved it, and everything should be changed, we'll, we're done with Wii Scrubber. We'll exit it, and now we'll need WBFS Manager. We'll take our drive, and we're going to load it. And I'll find it. And browse for your uh, ISO. Now make sure you chose the one we edited. And add it to the drive, and I'll see you once it's done with that. Alright, and now that our... Oops. And now that our, dry, our file has been placed into our drive. 
we're just going to have to take it out and use our USB loader GX, which is what I'll be using. And remember, it's going to say new Super Mario Bros. Wii because it's reading the game ID. It's not going to say newer or new copy or whatever you renamed it to. So let's go straight. Let's go to that. Okay, and now that we're on our Wii, we make sure that we've got our SD inserted. And we head over to USB Loader GX. Or whatever it is you use to play your backups. And new Super Mario Bros. Wii. And remember, mine's going to have that music playing because of my last tutorial, how to put in custom music in new Super Mario Bros. Wii. And you can already see it right there, the new Brawl Mario & Luigi. It looks great. I think this is a fantastic update to the game. I mean, I liked the old Mario & Luigi, but it didn't really look like them to me, and just this made the game so much better for me. And let's just play a random level right here. This is uh, one of the uh, color textures. I don't really think there's much of a change to these. No, there's not. But I mean, still, the game plays it's like it's exactly the same game, which it is. It's fantastic. I don't know how I've gotten this far without the update, but there you go, now you can see it. Look at that. Looks great. Look at that. You've got the uh, Mario Dark overalls, everything. Compare that to the case. Not really sure. There you go. Compare that, Mario. Compare how he looks to that. It looks amazing. It's the game's gonna play exactly the same. So, thanks for watching, you guys. This has been Homebrew Help with how to put in custom textures in your new Super Mario Bros. Wii. And by the way, guys, if you ever want the latest texture updates on Brawl, on New Super Mario Bros. Wii, on just about anything, anything Nintendo-related, make sure you head over to NintendoBros.com. It's got... it's pretty much just the number one Nintendo hacking community. I, myself, am a blogger here. I blog on uh, latest, the new Nintendo upgrade, updates, new uh, releases they have, new homebrew things, things like that. So it's got textures, it's got tutorials, it's got everything. Make sure you come over to nintendobros.com and just watch the hacks flow in.